congratulations, you're signing up to be baptized. Well, you may have a couple of questions in your mind. I may have a couple of answers to help you out. To begin with, you may be thinking, why should I get baptized? Well, number one, it's simply to follow the example set by Christ. Mark 1.9 says, at that time, Jesus came from Nazareth and was baptized by John in the river. So why was Jesus baptized? What is it in order for him to gain salvation? No, he didn't need salvation. He was perfect. But baptism does not save you. It's simply a symbol of obedience. And it is an example that we are to do just as he has done. Number two, it's because Christ commands it. Christ commands that every Christian be baptized. Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Jesus said, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. These are the three things that the church is commanded to do. Many people think, well, I'll get baptized once my life is perfect and I've gotten all figured out. No, that's really not how it goes at all. It's right after you make the decision to follow Christ. Notice the order. You make the disciples, then you baptize them, then they spend the rest of their life following and growing as a Christian. So baptism is for you right now. Number three, it demonstrates that you really are a believer. Acts 18.8 says, Many of the people who heard him believed and were baptized. Baptism does not make you a Christian. It just shows that you are a Christian. A wedding ring doesn't make you married. It's a symbol of the commitment that you make when you're married. Baptism is like a wedding ring. It's an outward symbol of an inward commitment. So what's the meaning of baptism? Well, for beginners, it illustrates Christ's burial and resurrection. 1 Corinthians 15, 4 says Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again. Colossians 2.12 says, For when you were baptized, you are buried with Christ, and in baptism you were also raised with Christ through your faith in the active power of God who raised him from the dead. Secondly, baptism illustrates your new life as a Christian. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, When anyone becomes a Christian, he becomes a brand new person inside. The old life has passed away and the new life has begun. Romans 6.4 says, By our baptism then, we were buried with him and shared his death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, so we may also live a new life. Have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior and you're ready for the next step? Well, we'd love to walk you through this process. Feel free to fill out the form below and we will contact you as soon as possible. God bless.